Hello everybody, this is Joe Jacobson back with Creating Your WordPress Marketing Hub. And today's class we're going to follow up on some more uh, work with plugins. We already loaded in the last video uh, the plugins that we uh, think are essential right now. But right now we, in this video we're going to uh, do some configuring. So log back into your WordPress and uh, your, your panel, admin panel, and then click on the plugins. I'll link on the left over here, and then you'll see your list of plugins. So let's just go through a few of these and uh, activate them. The Akismet one is about uh, is at the top, and this one's about you know uh, minimizing spam. So what you need to do on this one is click on this link here where it says you need an API key, and what will come up is this site right here. And this is their, their website. Scroll down at the bottom. Click on Use for Free. Now you will need to fill this out here. Click on this radio button, One Free Key. Fill out the contact information and then click on Next. I've already done it, so I won't be able to proceed myself here. But the next screen will say that you have uh, got your key. It's available. You'll need to check your inbox. And when you do that, let's see. If I can take a look here and show you what it'll look like. Yes, I've got it up here, I believe. Yeah, your email will look something like this. And this will be your key in here. And just go ahead and copy that. I just have X's here, but it'll be 12 numbers. Copy that and then paste it in over at your other site. When you go back to the control panel, there'll be a link up there. Let me do that right now. Okay. And we go back here to the login uh, admin panel. And so you'll be back here. Actually, mine doesn't have it, but right up at the top of, up here above the plugin list, there'll be another tab that says you need to activate it. Click on it right there. And then you simply paste in that uh, 12, I think it's 12 digit key. And it, that's it. It'll be activated. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. The next one is all-in-one SEO pack. Let's go over here on the left side. Click on it there to configure that one. This one's pretty straightforward. You just need to click on enabled right here. Plug in status. Go ahead and fill in your title, description, keywords. Everything else is filled in for you. You might want to click on this one here. Categories. Use categories for meta keywords. And then click on update options. Okay, and that one will be done. The next one is Google Analytics. We're going to leave that for a separate video. It's a little more involved. We'll cover that all by itself. And then the one for bookmarks. And this is what comes up here. They're all checked by default, and it's probably too many to start with. You don't need that many. So just click on the most popular for now, this link up here. And let's see if that it works. It should just leave the ones that are, there we go, they're right up at the top there, the ones that are the most popular bookmarks. And there's a ton more. You can always add in, you know, put a check mark in any of those other boxes if you want to use any of those others, like and there's Facebook, I think, on here that's not marked. And, you know, there's others. So anyways, once you're done with that, scroll down to the bottom. And again, this one is pretty much filled in for you. By default, you just need to select one of these background images, whichever one you like, and then you will click on Save Changes, and that'll be it for that one. Okay, the next one is the Internal Links plugin. This one's pretty straightforward, really nothing to do on that one. And so we're going to just move right on down to the next one, which is your Google Sitemap Generator. And this one is again filled in for you. And you can scroll pretty much all the way down to the bottom. And there's really nothing to change on this one. So it's really good to go. Okay, so there's really, and if you change any of these, you can click on Update Options. But that that's it. So that's it for uh, most of the basic ones. And again, we'll cover the Google Analytics in another one. And there there is one more, actually. Let me get back to the plugins. And I've already loaded it, so this one I'm just going to have to talk you through it. And that was this Max Blog Press 
ping optimizer. Uh, it's already been um, activated. So what you need to do, remember this is the one you had to download it from their website, and then you had to actually register uh, to receive their email messages. <clears throat> we went through that on the last video. But the last step you're going to have to do is uh, there'll be a message. Um, actually, it'll be uh, activate. Let me click on activate. There'll be it'll be over here on the left again, and you will click on it here. And again, my screen is going to look a little bit different because I've already done it. But there'll be a link on here that says you need to go register. You just put your name in there, an email address. And by the way, you'll see this if you go to the blog posting. Where you'll see a screen capture of it. So be sure and visit the the uh, if you're if you're just watching the video here, go onto the blog post and you'll see all the details there as well, and some text explanation. But that's it. You'll, it'll be activated there, and uh, then that one will be good to go. And I think on that one there wasn't too much to to. Uh, you can see it again on the uh, on the post. But I don't believe there's very much there to configure. Pretty simple. Okay, so that's it for now. We got everything optimized, and we're ready to move on in the next video to the more slightly more difficult one, more more complex one, Google Analytics. This has been Joe Jacobson with Creating Your WordPress Marketing Hub. We'll see you soon.